started happy happy may the fourth be with you and let's stretch the arms up overhead and hinge forward all right may the fourth be with you so i'm going to change the angle of this camera because i did my spring cleaning and that's all in my garage you know hi cindy music is on but hold on music is on no it's not for you Yes? All right. Do you, okay, good. Four more. Sorry. Oh, we have three, two, one. And stay forward, hinge forward, and pulse the arms and little pulsing in the hips. Eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down to the floor. Bend your knees. Drop your seat halfway up down halfway up hips go up four more three two stay down whoops walk your feet back high plank walk your feet forward squat hands on thighs round your back cat and cow two more good roll all the way up come back up inhale exhale come down Hands on the floor, step back, high plank. Step forward, other leg. Hands on thighs, one cat cow. Roll all the way up, take a breath in. And one more time, come down. Step back, back, front, front. Stay on your thighs, round your back. Roll it all the way up. Take a big breath in, bring the arms up. Lower your hips, three more. Good, nice little plies. One more time, stay here, good. Just turn it side to side, good. And from here, add a little punch. Go punch side to side, side to side. So we're in a low turn, just four more like that. Four, Cindy, I don't see your picture just in case you know. One more, there you go. Arms up, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, walk it in. All right, we have four of uh, six one minute exercises. The first one is a squat with a little pulse and come up. All right, we'll go set, set by set, not to worry. It doesn't have to be perfectly timed as far as our recovery time goes. So the first one is this, the second one will be on the floor for a chest press, actually. So get heavier weights if you need them, get them ready. In between our minutes, our two rounds, we'll do a little cardio set. All right, starting with squat pulse without a weight or with weights. All right, I'll start with just one weight. Pick it up, let's go. So I'm gonna squat pulse pulse and stand up. Pulse pulse and stand up. Good. So just your good old fashioned squat, you can, um, What's a nice thing to do is you might even want to sit on a bench instead of pulsing. Sit down, stand up, or on your ball. Or just keep doing what you're doing, or do a bridge. Uh, I don't think we're doing bridges in this today. And today, we will find time for our glute challenge. And I know you girls that are going away this week will be taking your list with you of what to do. You don't get a rest till Sunday. So, I'll be with you in your head for the next 10 seconds anyway. Little pulse, little pulse. And good, put it down. Second exercise is a dumbbell chest press on your back. You choose to be on your, um, in a bridge or not or you're gonna be in your traditional tabletop. All right, everybody ready? On your backs, hands in any position you like, let's go. So you can stay in a hip bridge, you can come up and down with your hips, you can just have your legs in tabletop, in on or off the floor, so you choose. 
smooth and controlled. Good long line from your hips or your knees to your tailbone and keep pressing up and down. Do not let your back collapse. You're halfway through. So remember, a minute is kind of a long time for some of these exercises. So what you might traditionally do with a heavier weight, this time you may choose to go lighter. Now, if your hips are up in the air, make sure they don't start to sink down. All right, so a couple of you I don't really see, but we'll get there. And you can rest. Put your weights down. Come on back up. We have a goblet squat. So I kind of did a little bit of a goblet squat in the first set. Hold a heavy weight underneath your chin and squat, come up, no pulse. All right, in four, three, good, two, and go. Down and up, no pulse in between. Yeah, welcome to Florida summer and happy May the 4th be with you. Keep it going. In one day, it goes from being nice and cool to hot and muggy. No in between. Halfway there. Good. Get as low as you can in your hips. Stay with me, gang. 15 more seconds. Get nice and deep, keep your knees apart. Of course, bridges are good in three, two, and one. All right, next set, bent over rows. Uh, all right, remember again, don't let your ego get in the way of taking lighter weights as we go through. Bent over rows. Tabletop position with your torso. Three, two, go. Row. Now, you can also do one arm at a time. Right? You can change your position so that the palm is facing up or palm is facing down or to the side. If you need a break on your back, come up, stand up, and then come on back down. Chest up, elbows squeezed by your side. Looking good. Good. If you feel tension in your neck, just let your chin drop down. All right, you got 20 seconds. See, it's a long time, a minute. That's it. Keep your back firm. Gorgeous, guys. Looking great. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, stand up. All right. Pick up a weight or use those weights, bicep curls. So if you're dealing with an injury or anything else going on, just go lighter. In three, two, go, let's go. Bicep curls. So again, you can do a curl with a rotation at the top. You can do an alternate arm. You can do a hammer. I don't think we're doing hammers anytime later. Did I say six exercises? Um, hmm, this one's only five. <laughs> I don't know. I must have written it down in my head, but not on the paper. So that's okay, I got you covered. 30 more seconds. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. In 15 seconds, we're gonna add in our challenge on one side today. Three, two, and one. All right, so we'll just do it as a challenge. Right leg forward, left leg back. It's a split squat, so we stay on the ball of the back foot, tailbone tucks underneath you, and we're gonna go down and up. 25 reps in four, three, 
Two, I'm gonna put my weights here. Go, 25, two, right leg is forward. Three, we do two rounds, so we'll get the left leg on the other side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep going for 15, 15, 14, you can have a slight tilt forward, 13, perfect, and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, last 5, and just like that, 4, 3, good row, 2, and one, come back. All right, so we go back to the top of the set. Our first exercise, squat pulse. Have a weight at the bottom of your range, you pulse, and then you come on back up. 60 seconds here. Keep your feet a little bit wider than hips, toes forward. Now you can actually do this with your feet together wider or closer, okay? I think we have a plie somewhere in here as well. All right, ready? Three, two, one, let's squat. Pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse, pulse. It's a pulse in your hips. Pulse, pulse, so you come up and down through your hips, or you're in a bridge and you're doing a pulse in your bridge as well. Those of you who want to sit down on your chair or your bench, nothing that's too high, so you're challenged to come on up by using the back body. Good, you're just halfway through. We go to the floor after this for our second round. That's it. 15 seconds. Hang in there. Five more seconds coming up right now. And stand up. Come on down to the floor. Dumbbell chest presses. All right. Choose how you want to be in your hip bridge. Ready? Begin. Good. Stay strong. Now, if your hips are off the air, off the floor, Make sure you keep checking that your glutes are tight and your back is not collapsing. And remember, yes, your chest, you can use heavy, heavy weight, but it's a minute of time, more than 12, 15 reps. Lift up your butt. If you're in the air, if you're not, you choose to be in a tabletop, down on the floor, or in the air. Oh my goodness, we're done in about 10 seconds. Oh, actually not, not, not. We started it a little later. 15. From here we go back up to standing. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to standing once again. All right, we've got a goblet squat. Same idea a little bit wider than your hips. Toes are turned out. Weight underneath your chin. Touch your elbows inside your thighs. Ready, set, go. No pulse on this one. And then this is the last of these kind of squats that you'll be doing today. Good. That's it. Down up, torso stays up. Hold as heavy a weight as your body will allow you to hold. Nice, guys, looking good. I have a good view of you today, Joe. Looks great. You're halfway through. Stay strong. Woo-wee. Wednesday, hump day. Let's get over the hump. Five more seconds. And good, all right, go to your heavy weights for your bent over rows. I'll just stick with these. All right, bent over rows. 
Remember, if your back needs a little break in between, just stand up. You can sit on a bench as well. Three, two, here we go. Pull, pull, row, elbows by your side. Head in line with your tailbone. Chest is open. Keep going. So remember, if you need a little break, stand up, get a stretch, come on back down. You got 30 seconds or so to go. It's the or so that gets us. <laughs> Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders up to your ears. It looks good, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, perfect. 15. You got five seconds. And rest. All right, you can put your weights down or keep them nearby. Bicep curls are next. Ready? I have an itch, three. Two, go. That's it. Good. So the knees are soft. You can have your arms rotating. You could do a single arm. You could do hammer curls. Just do not swing behind you. Good. Stay with me. Make it challenging but of course doable. Halfway through. You got this. No swinging behind your back. You can rotate the arms, you could go singles. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Put the weights at your shoulders or down by your side or over your head. Left leg is forward, generous step back. 25 split squats in three, two, go. Down up. So the leg that's in front bears the weight in the heel. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, knee over the ankle, five, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, that's three, stay with me, two more. One more time, ooh, and let it go. All right, move your weights out of the way, please. We've got a little bit of cardio. First set is jacks, jumping jacks or tapping jacks. Second set are shuffles, big arms, whatever you do, if you tap back, big arms, skaters side to side, and then moguls side to side. Then we're done. All right, here we go. Uh, let's wait, hold on. All right, jumping jacks in three, two, one, let's go. Jumping jacks. Now, remember, side to side, keep it going. First set is jumping jacks. 30 seconds is all we're doing. If you're not jumping, I don't care what you do, but keep those arms moving big, right? Shuffles are next in 10 seconds. Three, two, go. Now you can step back, alternate arms, or two arms, rather than your shuffles. Good. From here, we're going to skater side to side. Five more seconds. 
Three, two, skaters. Don't touch down. Or touch down with your hand, but not your feet. Good. You got this. That's it. Good, good, good. I don't have as big a space as some of you, so try to jump the width of your space. Three, two, moguls. Jump twist. If you're not jumping, as we used to call this in aerobic dancing, dig it, dig it. Get your arms going. Stay with me five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good morning. All right, grab some water. Get your heavy weights, moderate to heavy, depending. Little jump start for your heart, isn't it? All right, first set. Deadlifts, two leg, heavy weights. So all we're gonna do in our deadlifts is come down Maybe do your shins today, and then come all the way up, pause, and all the way down. All right, heavy weight, if you can. I think my next skip to myself is gonna be one of those wall timers with an electric guide. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Deadlift. Stand up. Good, chest is out, hips are back. There's a slight bend in the knees. And then the shoulders line up over the hips, not behind, okay? So be very conscious of that. Soft knees, so when you stand up, you're not hyperextending those knees. Good. 20 more seconds. Our next exercise will be for our triceps. Good, one more, then you come up and put your weights down. Choose whatever weight you're gonna use to extend your arms behind you or you can take it over your head, all right? We're in that bent over position again. Ready, set, go. Kick back, kick back. Elbows bend. Head, you keep looking forward. Drop your chin to your chest at this tension. Keep going here. Elbows don't move, so keep your elbows steady and just curl from the bottom rip part of the arm. Good, look forward, Ro. Yeah, yeah, keep your neck long. That's it, halfway there. Good, extend those elbows. Now you should start to feel this. Yeah, 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 15. Woo-wee, baby. 10 seconds. One more. Good, we have a single leg deadlift. I'll use one weight today. Weight in the right hand, weight in the left leg. Hinge forward so there's no weight in the right foot. Choose to be standing on the right foot or not at all. We'll switch 30 seconds into it. Here we go, single leg. Now you can bring the foot behind you and you can also lift it off the floor. Good. Keep going. Right leg has no weight on it. Right hand holds the weight, or two hands hold the weight. In about five seconds, we're going to the other side. Good, switch sides, go. 
And again, the left leg can go further behind you. Just changes um, what we're working or how we're working. And I'm trying to balance on this leg. This is my definite B side. You only got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, one heavy, two moderately heavy or lighter weights, shoulder press. Any which way you want to do them. I'll give you several options as we go. All right, here we go. Turn it up, overhead. Good, keep going. Shoulder press overhead. Okay, go. Now you can take your palms to face each other. You can take your palms to face in and rotate out. And of course, same thing, you can do single arm. 15 more seconds. I kind of like single arms on those. It keeps me a little bit more honest. So in love. Three, two, one. All right. One heavy weight under your chin. You can hold it this way or this way. Legs are a wider apart. It's back to a deadlift with your feet in this position. So soft bend and come up and down. Ready? Hold the weight in three. You can also put a weight behind your back. Two, one, let's go. So my feet, actually let's bend the knees a little bit more and come from a bent knee, more bent knee position. So it's kind of a good morning, kind of a split kind of thing going on here. So. Good, remember it's not a squat on this one. So we hinge forward at the hip. My knees stay bent the whole time. And I'm really working a lot of the lower back muscles. Good, about 20 seconds we hit the floor with one nice heavy weight. Keep it bent. We're done in five seconds. All right, stand up. Take your mat. Take your heavy weight. All right, we're not allowed to say this anymore, so I'll say home body twist. All right, pick up your weight. Have a seat on the floor. Twist in three, two, go. Side to side. Here's one option. Side to side, touching the floor each time. Next option is elbows behind you, leaning back a little bit. And either of those two options with legs up, or maybe even bicycling. So choose which is right for you. Hold the weight the way that's right for you. If you're touching the floor, bye, right in the camera, say bye. <laughs> Some people just don't get showbiz. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, a minute's a really long time here. Lift your chest up if you're sitting up. If you're leaning back, good. So you wanna just make sure that you're not collapsing into your back. Three, two, one. Weight down. All right. Do a little spinal twist. Hold. Other side. Hold. All right. We're back up. We've got our deadlifts. Bent knee. Two heavy weights, one heavy weight. You choose. Excellent. 
All right. Second set, final set of this rep, of this series, of this circuit. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Just a good old-fashioned deadlift. Knees are bent. Drive through your heels. Come on up. Weight is back. Knees are soft. Good. So a little bit different than the last ones we just did. Our knees are soft. Our legs are right underneath our hips, facing forward. Get a good long release out of the back side of your body. Drive through your heels to activate that back side of your body. Three, two, and one. Good. Tricep kickbacks. Careful when you put your weights down and pick them up. Elbows behind you. No movement at the shoulder. Just the elbow. All right. Hinge forward. Go. Kick back. Another option would be to do it overhead or tricep dips or a skull crusher on your back. Good, keep your elbows pinned behind you. If your neck is feeling um, strained, just let your chin come down to your chest. Woo, yeah. Squeeze the arm behind you. The more you bend over, nice work, good, 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 guys. Good, uh, Michelle took the other option, it's cool. I know it. All right, 20 more seconds. Hang in there for five guys, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, one weight. Single leg deadlift, you choose to be balancing or just lift the heel. Right hand holds, weight in the left leg. We go in three, two, go. Single leg. Now again, foot can be behind you a little bit more and keep the hips squared or lift the leg off the floor and keep the hips squared. Hinge, fold. All those options and I'm sure there's more. We're gonna switch legs and arms in five seconds. Three, two, switch sides, go. Get your bearings, then decide do you want a little bit more challenge by moving the leg back or perhaps off the floor. And as we discovered on my last round, this was my definite B side for balance. Good. Five more seconds. We go back to the shoulder presses in three, in two, in one. Good, so remember with your shoulder presses, you can alternate arms. You can put the bum, palms to face in. You can have your palms facing your ears. You choose. Here we go, ready? Three, two, go. I'm gonna go with this Arnold's for a few. Good. So you can use your hips to help you push the weight up, but don't use your lower back or sit down like Rosemary so you won't really be forced to use your lower back. Very good. Nice job. That's it, Michelle. Cindy, yes, everybody. Perfect, everybody. Halfway there. So now you can also do these alternating shoulder presses. When you get tired, right, as long as you're moving, I'm okay with how you get there. Come on, 15. A minute overhead is a lot of time, right? Yeah, so listen to your body. Three, two, and one. All right, one heavy weight. 
Legs apart. Turn the toes out. Knees stay bent the whole time. Here we go. Bend the knees, hinge forward, and come back up. When we come back up, I'm keeping my knees bent. So I'm hinging. And then tuck the tailbone. And again, the shoulders stay right on top of your hips. Good. Let's keep going. Thirty seconds. This is our last deadlift variation or back variation. We've got our twist on the floor in fifteen seconds. Yeah. So make sure you're not bouncing on the way down, all right? That you have more control on the way down even than on the way up. Three, two, and one. Down to the floor, everybody. Grab your weight. One heavy, two heavy, light. Any variations? Pick it up. Ready, set, go. You can hold your weight in any position. Let's just make sure I can see this. And remember, legs can be up for a little bit more challenge. Or down. And the elbows can go behind you. A little bit more reach, so keep your spine nice and long. Get the twist. However you choose to do your twist. Stay with me guys, 15, 20 seconds left. Sorry, gave you hope. Twist, 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 twist. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, we're going to stay down on the floor, not forever, just for this cardio set. So, the first set are mountain climbers, uh, plank jacks, actually. So here's your options. Plank jacks, step out, or step tap. And of course, if you're, you can stand them up, okay? Um, then your mountain climbers, knees into the chest, cross body or straight ahead. Then we have what I call a half burpee. So what you're gonna do is either you're gonna jump up to your hands and back, or you're gonna step up and step back, or step up and maybe jump back. Any variation, all right? Then we'll just hold a plank. All right, here we go. You got 30 seconds of every exercise, starting with plank jacks in three, two, go. So here's some variations. Side tap, or side out, out, in, in, or jump and step in, step out, jump in, jump out, step in. Any variation, come up with something creative for yourself. Just keep your torso low because it is a plank, not a down dog. Change the mountain in three, two, go. Slow it down. You could be on a bench or a, a rack or a table or wall and just bring your knees into your chest. Try to get your knees all the way up though, whatever you're doing. Even if it's slow, especially if it's slow. Or across the body. Three, two, jump up, jump back. Now remember, stepping is an option in either direction. If you're stepping, change your lead leg to the step. All right? Up and back. Stay low. Jump up, jump back. Five seconds, gang. Hold your plank. Forearms are straight. If you want to get wrist, a little break, go off of your wrist. Stay here. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Keep your legs strong. Keep your belly in. Yeah. Resist against the earth. 10 seconds more. Hold on. Three, two, and one. Quicky little child's pose. All right. Final set, everybody. Whew. Come on up to standing. Grab some water. All right, light weights are gonna be needed at some point. First exercise, you're gonna come out, I'm not gonna hold the weight now. You're gonna be holding a weight, a weight, a weight, a weight, two weights. You're gonna step out to the right, straighten the leg and come back, straighten the leg and come back. Your weight is behind your hips or behind your heel. So you straighten, but you sit back and push down. Sit back, not forward, all right? That's your first exercise. We'll do 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Get ready to go, three, two, weight in hand, right side go. So, step out, sit up. Weight behind your knee. Like you're gonna sit into a chair. If you have one behind you, you might test it. 10 seconds, we just move to the other side. Three, two, change sides, sit back, straighten the leg. So you come a little bit more upright, but you're never really back to the center too much. Keep the weight back. Woo. Hug the right hip in as well. You can have a weight down. You can hold it on the inside or the outside of your foot. You don't have to have any weights at all. Three, two, and one. Good, pick up a moderate to heavier weight, moderate weight. I'm gonna go a little bit light with an injury. I also know it's a side raise. It's gonna be kind of crazy. Here we go. Three, two, one, go, side raise. Now, feel free to use heavy weights. Just know you may have to Stop at some point and change your weights. Another option always, single arm, single arm. You are standing upright in this one though, right? This is side raising, don't go higher than your shoulders. Good, palms face down. If you're using light weights but want more challenge, just bring your arms to the outside of your hips instead of inside here, right? So shorten your range of motion from where you start. Good, 15 seconds. If you use the light weight, just say thank you for letting me know that. Three, two, and one, good. You can use weights, no weights. I think I'll take a weight. We're doing alternating front lunges here. Alternating front lunges, stepping forward. Three, two, one, let's go. Now I'm just gonna do a little row or figure eight outside my hip or chop, whatever you wanna call it. Alternating front. From here we go to the floor for nobody, maybe two people's favorite exercise. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> 30 to go. That would be seconds, but maybe it's reps. Stay with me, gang, you're there. 15 more seconds. two, and one. Come on down to the floor, you don't need any weights. You can be on your knees or straight legs, push-ups. 
all right? So I know two people like this exercise, I'm not one, go. Try to go with a, lot, a wider arm. Head in line with tailbone, look forward, don't collapse into your shoulders. So keep your center strong, keep your eye gaze in front of you. You could do this on a bench to be higher. Higher up makes the challenge a little less challenging. I won't say it's easy by any stretch of the imagination. Halfway there. Stay with me. I'm just gonna change it up a little bit because, sorry Michelle, we're on the floor and I'm gonna keep you on the floor. Any breaks you need, I want you to take for the next Set, keep going, three, two, child's pose quickly, lay on your back, bicycles, so take a break when you need to, it is 60 seconds and uh, mea culpa on that, but let's go, ready, begin, now count your reps, I'm going a little bit, you know, side to side, you can stop through center, go side, Center, side, center. That will probably help ease it up for you. Go, Shawty. Just get your arms outside your legs, outside your knees. All right, 30 more seconds. Just want to be able to see our time. With control, the lower you go, the more challenging it is on your back, as well as your body, core. I know, I know, I know. I promise you some good stretching when we're done. And rest. All right. We're back up. Alternating. Rear lunges, rear lunges. Last time we did front lunges, this time we step back. If you can't do that, that's okay. Get ready, pick up a weight or no weight. Three, two, and let's see if I can get it going. Go, rear lunges. So in our warm-up, remember we step down and step back. We were in a plank, yes. That's it. Ooh, the sweat is just dripping. Come on, hang in there, you're more than halfway through. Right in my eye. Bend both knees when you step back, right? It's not just the lunge, except for those of you who are not doing lunges. You know that. Three, two, and one. All right. We're back to that first round. Side lunge, hinge. It's a static side lunge. Pick up a weight, go to your right side in three, two, here we go. Step, straighten. You can change where you hold the weight, but the leg, knee behind ankle. You could also take the arm outside the leg, or just hold it at your chest, or even down between your legs. You know, so be creative for yourselves. We're gonna change sides in three, two, switch. Weight goes back. So you're feeling the weight in your glute. You're pressing into your left heel now. So sit like you're sitting in a chair. Get your hips a little lower if you can, Joe. Torso upright more, uh, Rosemary.
take it down. Side raise, light weights. Maybe not light weights, you choose. Three, two, go. Side raise. So again, options, single arm, single arm, two arms from the center or from the outside of your legs. You can also, by the way, bend your arms a little bit more if that's something you'd like to do here to, you know, just keep you active. Good. Get the arms at least shoulder height if you can, not higher than. Good. Those look pretty heavy, Lauren. Good. Woo. Maybe a little hinge here but we're not in a forward position and we're definitely not in a backward position. So stand up nice and tall. 10 more seconds. Drop your chin to your chest if you feel tension in your neck. Three, two, and one. Put it on down. All right. Alternating front lunges, with or without a weight. I'm just doing little chops across the body. We go in three, two, go. Alternating front. So you step forward with a healthy amount of space and then bring the back knee towards the floor. Some of you will get lower, some of us will stay higher. tell you what kind of girl I am. I'm going to be nice. Not really. And we're going to stay up for our last exercise and then we'll go to the floor for the last two after that. So we don't have to come up and down. And I can keep you there and stretch. Five. Three. Two, and one. All right, same movement, only we go backwards. So watch your weights around you, stepping back, rear lunge alternating in three, in two, let me bring this closer, go, alternating. So this time the leg moves back, and we're still, I'm doing the chops, if you wanna just hold the weight, or if you wanna do no weight, keep your hips forward, Laura. So keep your hips forward, don't turn. Good, good. That's it, uh, Rosemary, nice. Yes. So, typically the chop is gonna come on the outside of the leg that stays forward or bent. Hang in for 15. Three, two, and one. Get rid of your weights. Come to the floor. Come to the floor. Kneeling or not. Push ups. Wide arm. Three, two, Go. Look forward. Try to press your chest. Good, Rosemary. Nice, guys. Yeah, Joe. Keep looking forward. You can do it. Go lower. Right? The hard part is getting back up, I know. So go as low as you can without having to collapse down. Last 30 seconds here. Keep your neck long, so look in front of your mat, not up to the sky, not even at the camera. Stay with me, guys. Hang in there. Don't just bob your head. Bend your elbows. Are they bending? Make sure you bend your elbows. Yes. Look forward. Don't collapse into your shoulder blades. Three. Two, 
and one. On your back, final set. Maybe not your favorite. Legs up, take it slow, take it fast, and we go. Twist, bicycles. Try to reach outside the outer knee of the leg that bends to you. Now, I didn't really go over not bringing your knees all the way up to your chest. Try to keep your legs over your hips. Who left me? Okay, Jeff. Twist, twist, twist. 30 to go. Remember, we're not forgetting our core because we're into our glute work month. Well, we never forget our core. Stay with me, you've got 10 seconds. Last five seconds, you're done. Three, two, and one. Hug your knees up to your chest. Woo! Good job, y'all. Lay your left leg on the floor as you hug your right knee on the floor, uh, to your chest. Pull the right knee off to the right waistline and really extend your left leg out in front of you now. Maybe you have a wall in front of you and you push against it to create levelness in the hips and length out of that left hip. Now take your left hand and grab your right knee over to the other side, twist. So also a nice spinal twist. You guys did awesome Wednesday hump day, the hardest day of the week. Come back to your center. Figure four stretch. Release your right leg off and down to the floor, left knee into your chest. Move it over to your left side. And then cross the leg over. Figure four. Release it, both legs out in front of you. Both arms over your head. Reach as far away from your center as you can. Stretch out the front side of the body. Reach right arm long, left right leg, left arm left leg. And then reach, 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 reach your way. And then come back. Bring your knees up and over to one side. Come to hands and knees for a quick cat cow. And then a downward dog, hips up. From your down dog, guys, I want you to just hinge forward and lower your hips, stretch out front of the chest and your hip. Let's do that one more time. Downward dog. And then come forward, lower the hips. Uh, and bring the hips back up, down dog. Walk your hands and feet towards each other. Fold, let your head go, shake it out, yes and no. And then take the arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles up and overhead. Keep your arms together as you roll up through your spine. Lower your shoulders back. Take a big breath in, everybody. Give yourselves a big hug, pat on the back, and you guys at home are done. Stay home safe and stay healthy. Get back, wear a mask.